over the past week, Sam Bankman Freed has gone to two really important crypto lending platforms who are in major problems, major trouble, and he has offered to help them out. One of them looks like they made a deal with them today. The other didn't, and it looks like it's having major, major problems. We're gonna get that articles in a minute, but first, welcome everyone to OG Crypto and NFTs. My name is Troy, and Monday through Friday, we go over the latest news in crypto and NFTs. Today is July 1st. Wow, where has time gone? You know, if you like the video, hit that like button. Otherwise, hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna give you the best five minutes in crypto Monday through Friday. So let's jump right into it. CNBC says the major crypto broker Voyager Digital suspends all trading, deposits, and withdrawals. It looks like all the investors of Voyager received emails today saying that everything has been put on hold. You can't trade, you can't do anything, can't withdraw, which is the most important. Now, we've known that they've had problems now for a week, and I hope a lot of you are taking money off of Voyager. I know it's been discussed for, for at least a week. If not, you are now in a bad situation. If Voyager won't allow you to withdraw, it's just a nightmare. And in their email, they said that they had to work things out to figure out how they can pay back their investors. I don't think it's gonna happen. I think they're gonna go way, the way of Celsius where they're gonna keep this suspension going until someone actually makes them liquidate and they go into bankruptcy. But we're gonna find this out in the next week or two. But the winner is BlockFi. So BlockFi announced a deal with FTX US, including option to acquire for $240 million. So yesterday we saw on Zach Prince, the CEO of BlockFi, on his Twitter account, and this is what he said. Excited to share an update on our previously announced term sheet with FTX. And as we go down, it says yesterday we signed a definitive agreement subject to shareholder approval with with FTX US for number one, a $400 million revolving credit facility, which is subordinate to all clients' funds. And number two, an option to acquire BlockFi at a variable price up to 240 million based on performance triggers. Well, let's just be very, very frank here. They're, if they hand out the $400 million, it's going to make, if they, and then they allow withdrawals, it's gonna make a lot of people happy. So if they make it happy, it just almost makes them non-functional at that point. And then Sam bankman is gonna just swoop down, purchase it, and then hopefully make as many entities and creditors and investors whole. We'll figure this out. I know BlockFi is probably worth two, three, four billion dollars on their platform. So we're gonna, we'll, it'll be figured out. Actually, it's worth five billion, I see as of June 2021, so a year ago. So I think they have about 4 billion, actually probably less now because the market's really taken a, uh, a tank since then. But it's gonna be very interesting to see them go forward and see what happens here. You know, I expect probably by the end of the month, I think that uh, FTX US will own, own BlockFi. That's just my guess, but I think this is just a, the first step to make the, the investors that are invested in this a little more calmer. Next article here, something we reported yesterday about Coinbase selling information to ICE about their clients. Well, today or yesterday after that, that announcement came out, Coinbase denied reports of selling any customer data to the US government. So I don't know what's happening. I don't know if, if it was just FUD because of, an, of other different exchanges not happy with Coinbase, who knows? But Coinbase came out and said it. It says Coinbase clarified that crypto exchanges was not selling users data and highlighted that it provides information for investigations of in fi financial crimes. Hmm. Well, how are they how are they coming up with financial crimes? Does that mean money laundering? Does that it can mean a lot of different things? A financial crime means I you know you stole a dollar from me, so I'm mad. So that's a financial crime. So it has it needs to have a lot more definition here, and I think it needs to be brought uh, with guidance, much more guidance from Coinbase on about what's happening here. But at least we're seeing that they're just not handing wholesale handing off our information to a U.S. government. 
And the last article, which has been a rumor now today, it's been a big rumor and people are kind of pulling their money off of KuCoin. This is from Miles Docher. He is one of the, the crypto banter guys. He comes on maybe once or twice. I should say he comes on almost every day in the week. He's very good. He's very knowledgeable. This is what he's saying. He says, hearing some rumors that KuCoin could be halting withdrawals in the near future. Apparently they suffered immensely from the Luna collapse. Well, congratulations. You are one of many, many, you know, companies, exchanges, you know, platforms, you know, capital companies that have had a problem with Luna. You listened way too much to Do Kwon. You, you know, with $20 billion into UST, which he just kept pumping more Bitcoin to try to keep some kind of balance there that didn't happen. I'm really, you know, a, a, a little taken back if they took money out of their out of their clients you know reserves and then put it in the luna that wouldn't be good and that would be a house of cards waiting to happen and to crumble down onto their their investors and their their people who have money on their exchange i personally have all my money off of kucoin i want nothing to do with it at this point and i'm you know a lot of people out there need to figure that out whether they want to keep money on exchanges especially these mid i call them mid cap exchanges like KuCoin, if it, KuCoin falls down, if, if it crumbles, this is going to be the first major one to crumble. And now it's going to scare the entire crypto world into every other exchange out there, except for the big boys like Binance or F FTX or Coinbase. Well, guys, thank you very much for jumping in and watching our video. I know there's a long holiday weekend here in the United States. If you are going to enjoy that, be safe and enjoy it. I will have a Monday edition of OG Crypto and NFTs, and I will definitely go over some of the news that happened over the weekend. There are other news that of today I'll probably go and retrace back. You guys have a fantastic weekend, and if I don't see you and you don't see me, have a great fourth.